So, uh, I just redid this rack with heat tape. Um, the reason for it is this is what the heat tape on that rack looked like. The whole seven foot strip was wobbly and burned out. Now, the reason why is something so simple and so stupid that I'm going to tell you guys so that it's something you don't have to ever experience. All right. Um, so both these racks run off of three inch, I have THG heat tape on there, as you saw. Same watt, same wattage. So I run both racks when they're both plugged in, the adults are still downstairs. I run both racks on the same thermostat. This one. The reason I have this tape on here is because uh, it's very bright when I sleep. So I just put the tape, I just, you know, I peel the tape back to look at the temps and uh, it blocks the light from the room. I like it dark in my room. One day I'll have my own reptile room again, and I won't have to sleep with my snakes in my room. Until then, I improvise. Well, when I turned off the adult rack, aka unplugged the heat tape, the probe for the thermostat was still on the adult rack. So it was reading room temperature, which is about 65 to 70 in here, depending. And uh, the heat tape in this rack was open full bore, trying to get it up to 95. Well, luckily I realized it, and uh, there were no, first off, there were no uh, deaths in the baby rack. Nobody had any problems. They moved to the front of the room. That's the, or the front of their tubs. The plus side of my room being cooler is their cool side is cooler, so they were able to get away from that heat. The second thing is I am so very glad that it didn't light on fire. Um, I mean, that would suck above all things. Ever since I started keeping snakes, I actually got myself a little fire extinguisher just in case. I mean, when you're dealing with heat tape, you're dealing with the possibility of fire. <clears throat> so, just a heads up so you guys don't ever have to experience that. Um, make sure your probe is on the rack that it's on, that you know is on. So this tub in this rack is my probe tub because this baby rack's never going to get turned off. So this is the the, the tub rack or the probe rack or the probe tub and probe rack. Another thing is I've had these racks for years, and I just now realized there's a hole back here on both sides for running the probe down into the tub. I've been running it through the front and taping it to the bottom on the heat tape. I keep my probe on the heat tape in the tub. That way, that hot spot is 95. So, yeah. Just uh, little mistakes that could cost, I mean, essentially your entire house. But could have cost me all the babies had, I not, had it not dawned on me a day later. That, oh man, this rack is off. I should switch the probe over. Simple solution um, this summer, actually, when I have a little extra cash, I'm just going to get a separate thermostat for that rack. Uh, they, they really should have their own thermostats. You know, it's just, it was one of those deals where, like I said, they're both running the same wattage of heat tape. It's well within the range of that thermostat's control. I think that thermostat can handle 1500 watts and I'm only running like 200 watts worth of a heat tape on it or something like that. It was just the fact that the probe was trying to, you know, the heat tape was trying to get the probe up to where it should be and it happened to be on a cold rack. So don't do that. Simple mistake. Luckily nothing happened other than some burnt out heat tape and a $50 charge of getting more. I'm telling you, like, the whole seven feet of heat tape that I pulled out of this baby rack looked like this. So, I'm really lucky. <laughs> I really am. But, uh, that's it. Just wanted to give you guys that warning. Hopefully you'll listen to me. Never have to experience BS like this. So, that's it. Out. Oh.